Is he awake? Yeah. He's so hot. I can carry him. You're exhausted. No. I've got him. there. Keep carrying you. We'll be inside soon. Rest now. Shit. Is he... Uh... He's alive. He was shot. He's got a fever. Come on, let's get him inside. I can't. It's okay, buddy. I got you. Let me see. I have what I need upstairs. Come on. We got the shrapnel out of him. We? It's a long story. He's running a fever. Body's trying to fight infection, poor little guy. Ruby and Lewis will take care of him. You come with me. We can talk in the office. Clem? Shh. You just try to rest, okay? We're gonna fix you right up. Clem! AJ, listen to Ruby, okay? She'll look after you. Come on. What do we do when we're scared? When fear starts to get the upper hand, we breathe. we breathe in, hold it in. I'm good now. Clementine, please. We need to talk. out in the woods I saw they had you pinned and I shit I got so crazy when I heard you call for help I didn't even think I wanted to help you but when you told us to run I had to trust you thank you for protecting us it was really brave I really thought you were dead Clem It's just everything is so fucked right now, you know? Sorry to disappoint. You'll have to put up with us for a while longer. No disappointment here. I'm glad you came back. Huh. What about Mitch? 
and the others. Oh, uh, well, they're less excited about it. Lewis and I told them what happened in the woods. That woman who attacked you, I... Lily. So you do know her. We were wondering. Who the hell is she? I mean, I know you're not, like, with her group. I wouldn't have recognized her if she hadn't recognized me first. We were in a group together. Long time ago. Hope it was a different kind of group that didn't fucking steal people. Come on. You know it was different. She murdered someone in our group. Gunned them down during an argument. Carly was her name. She refused to let Lily push her around. It was right at the start. I haven't seen Lily since. I believe you. But? There's something else. Lily said someone was with you at the gates. James. He saved me and AJ. Let us stay in his camp for the night. But why did you bring him here? You led him right to us. I mean, he's a stranger, Clem. You don't have to worry about James. We can trust him. Willie said he was wearing, I don't know, animal skins or something? He was wearing walker skin. That's how he gets past herds. He can guide them, too. Ugh. Wow. Okay. I wouldn't have brought him here if I thought he was a threat. It's not that I don't trust you. I'm just worried about the others and what they might do. They didn't even get a chance to mourn Brody and Marlin before these child-snatching assholes showed up. And then you two come back after we thought you were dead. Now they're confused and no one knows how to feel about AJ. Violet, AJ is the least of their worries. I know, but everything is such a mess. They're scared and angry and they're looking for someone to blame. I mean, they kicked you out. How am I supposed to make them change their minds about you? It was decided. Five to three against. You don't have to. Let me convince them. James told me what Lily and Abel will do next. He said they'll get more people and guns and come attack us. Take everyone here. How the hell would he know? He's watched them for a while. They're at war with another community. They take people to fight for them. Is that what happened to Minnie and Sophie? They turned them into soldiers? Yeah, it'll happen to us too if we don't stop them. Minnie didn't even like killing walkers. Look at this place. It's a fortress. With a little work, we could make this place really hard to attack. Do you actually know how to do that? Yeah, I was part of a siege once in a town called Richmond. Here, let me show you. We've got good, strong walls. We need to make them hard to climb over, so the raiders have to come in through the gates. We used to keep barbed wire in the greenhouse. The courtyard's pretty wide open, not a lot of cover. We should flip the picnic tables, narrow down the pathways through it. So we'll know which way they're coming. At the very least, it'll give us protection if they get past these walls. This is where we should make our stand. There's only one way in, the front, and then there's the big central staircase. If we rig that path with traps, we can pull back here. Luring in our attackers. I like it. Well, you guys don't use the greenhouse anymore, do you? No, we used to. Then we lost someone out there. Walkers overran the place and Marlin wouldn't let us go back. Safe zone. We need to get that barbed wire so they can't climb the walls. I'll go. Are you sure? It's gonna be swarming with walkers by now. Okay, what the hell's going on? Lily told me she was back, but I was like, no way. Violet wouldn't just go against what we all decided. Shh, would you keep it down? The little boy's asleep. His fever's already going down, Clem. He's gonna be okay. Great. We're just giving them our medicine, too? Mitch, those raiders are getting ready to attack the school. We need Clem's help. Like hell we do. For all we know, she's one of them. She's not. If you saw their leader's boot on Clem's neck, you'd know that. Use your head, Mitch. You saw AJ on your way in. If I was with the raiders, why would they have hurt him like that? How do I know? 
Maybe he shot one of their friends. Mitch! Clem's going to the greenhouse to find barbed wire and anything else she thinks we need for the fight, and you're going to help her. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself, and you're good in a fight. I can go too. You know, to keep the peace. Fuck, Vi. Since when are you the one making the calls? Since no one else stepped the fuck up. These two will meet you at the gate, and you can head to the greenhouse once I've explained the situation. See you there. I'm so sorry, little dude. Please be okay. I... I guess I didn't realize how long it's been, how much it's changed. Ah, uh, this ain't budging. You gonna stand there sulking all day, or you gonna do something useful? Well, we need that barbed wire. There must be another way in. Wild boar. Not too many in these parts, but they were more common where I grew up. I used to hunt them with my old man when I was little. They make terrible noises when they die. I like it. It'll look good on my wall. see shit. Well, there's too much condensation on the inside. Condensation? That's a big word for you. Shut up. That window. I bet we can get in there. Good spot. Mitch, come here and give me a boost. Wait. Make her go first. We send the one we don't mind losing. That's an ugly thing to say. I'll go first. I don't mind. Figured you'd fight it. Thanks, Clem. Holler if one grabs you. Otherwise, we'll come as soon as you give the all clear. I guess we'll know when the door opens. Open. 
Not bad. Oh, look. Wild ginger. Eastern prickly pear. Jerusalem artichoke. False Solomon seal. Let's find that barbed wire and anything else that might be useful. Found something? Yep, maybe useful. Yes! Dibs! Some mushrooms are edible. Could be a weapon. Or use it to dig a grave. You weren't there when we dug the holes for Marlin and Brody. We had to use cups and bowls. Took forever. Barbed wire. A lot of it, too. That should keep the raiders from climbing our walls. Hey, we can use these. For what? We can make bombs out of these. Bombs? Are you serious? Totally. It's the kind of stuff I made back home. He used to blow shit up. That's why he's a troubled youth. Guilty. I just need some propane and something to create a spark. And we'll have ourselves a nice little homemade explosive. Remember right, there's a science lab through that door. Maybe there's propane in there. Come on, help me move this thing. <laughs> okay, let's see what's inside. Had a scare, that's all. Oh no. What? Who was she? Miss Martin. Our nurse at the school. She stayed when all the others left. She looks... You can barely recognize her. I'm sorry, Ruby. I... I just... wish I could make her look like she used to. One day we came out looking for food. Walkers attacked us. 
Thought we could fight them off, but there were just... There were so many. Ms. Martin told us to run. So we did. She taught me how to patch people up. Stitching, local anesthetics, painkillers, fever reducers. I don't think I can. Take care of her. Would you? I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Just need a minute. Come on, guys. Help me find that propane and we can get out of here. Ugh, looks like piss. Dare you to drink it? Not in a million years. Wimp. Mitch, is this useful? Fucking A. I was hoping there'd be one of those. That's an igniter. We can use it to create a spark. Now we just have to find propane. We can blast those motherfuckers to hell. find anything? I actually, I don't know what this is. <sighs> Let's hope there's gas in it. Yeah, perfect. Uh, here. Good find. Now we have everything we need. We should get back and tell the others. We have to bury Ms. Martin first. Bury her? Why bother? It's a walker. Help me drag it out back. We can burn it. No. Ms. Martin's the reason we're all alive. And? She deserves a proper burial here. Next to the greenhouse she loved. That way the others won't have to see her like this. She's been dead for years. There's no point. I'll help you bury her. It's the right thing to do for someone you cared about. Thank you so much. It's not a her. It's a walker. Fine, whatever. I'm not wasting my energy on that thing. I'll put a stone in the graveyard. Back at the school. But Ms. Martin loved this place. She'll be happy here. I'll make sure everyone knows you helped me. That you've got a... a good heart. Under all that muck. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Think it'll be enough? Hopefully. And it means Lily and her people won't be able to climb the walls. They'll have to come through the gates. We can plan for that. Straight into a fiery explosion of death. Assholes won't know what hit them.
brought you these. I noticed his shirt got messed up when, you know. Where did you get those? They were tens back when he got here. Should be about AJ's size. How's he doing? Better. His fever's down. Thank you for carrying him in. No problem. So, we've got a greenhouse again. And bombs. Mitch's idea. I figured. Violet says we'll start getting this place ready in the morning. Good. They all seem okay with letting you stay. For now, anyway. While we get ready to fight. Yeah, I'm glad. All I've wanted is for them to forgive us. I said they're fine with you being here, at least till the raiders are gone. That doesn't mean they all like you again. Everyone else is okay with us staying. What about you? It's fine. Well, he gets better. And after that? I don't know, Clementine. Clem? Hey, kiddo. How do you feel? Better. Still hurts. I know. Hi, Louis. Hey, little dude. I missed you. Are we friends again? Just get some sleep, okay? Louis? I'm sorry that you're hurting and uh, it's our fault. It wasn't all you. Marlon, he... Forget it. I should go. I'm not mad at him anymore. Are you? He helped carry me. And he was by my bunk when Ruby gave me stuff. AJ, I was never mad at him. I understand why he acted that way. Why he wanted us gone. <sighs> me too. Let's get a look at the shirts Lewis brought you. Then we'll sleep. It's been a long day. Yeah. James was nice, but I don't like sleeping on the ground. Me neither. Hey, look! It's Disco Broccoli and his friend. I wish you could have seen this cartoon. Me too. Hey, this one's pretty cool. Mm, looks like Marlin's jacket. Oh, yeah. But it would still look good on you. How about this one? It looks like Tin's boots. Oh yeah, I think it's the same character. Cool. Hmm, this one will work. You can put it on when you feel better, okay? Yeah. Time for sleep. I can't sleep with a light. I'll blow it out in a second. Wonder how long it'll last. <gasps> nice. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if it tries, <sighs> bang.
AJ? Where are you? You were having a nightmare. Same one you used to have all the time. About what happened at the ranch. I'll be okay. Just give me a minute. Hey, what do you have there? Did you have a bad dream too? You've been having them a lot lately. I feel safer like this, not sleeping. I want to stay up forever. I probably could. Like 18 days, if I tried hard. I don't know about that. I've never met anyone who could go more than a few days without sleep. Then I'll be the first. If we were in danger, then I would. Ah! Here, let me help you back to bed. No. You don't have to keep checking on me. You always say, be tough. So I am. You say, be strong. And I will. All the time. I raised you to be strong, not stupid. I'm not. Shutting people out when they're trying to help you? That's stupid. Please, don't call me stupid. <sighs> I'm sorry you had to do all the hard work. To atone me. I'm gonna help you more, so you don't have to do everything. Where are you going? On patrol. Patrol? For danger. Bad people. Monsters. What if you stayed here instead? If you go back to sleep, I'll stay awake and make sure no more bad dreams come. You can't do that. You're not magic. How do you know? Maybe I have magic and never told you. <laughs> no, you don't. What is it? Can I... Could I maybe sleep in your bed? Like I did when I was little? Yeah. Come on up. I I'm not scared. Just tired. It makes sense to me. I think you need that. Mm. 
AJ? What? You're still little. Yeah, I know. <sighs> you ready to work today, kiddo? Bad dreams always make me more tired. Me too. I slept better in your bed. It's my turn to be lookout. I have other stuff I need to do. What stuff? Nothing. It's just... It's important. God damn it, Lewis. Take this seriously for once in your life. I've been taking this seriously for fucking days. Almost two weeks. So has everyone. Get over yourself. Hey, I thought Lily and Abel would show up days ago. I wonder why they're holding off. Don't know. All I wanted was more time to prepare, but now this waiting sucks and everyone's on edge. Need my help? Yeah, actually. Could you check on everyone and make sure they're doing shit right? Sure, I'm on it. Thanks, Clem. I should go board up the back hallway, since Lewis isn't gonna do it. Pretty clear message. I wouldn't want to pledge to that. Hopefully this at least creeps the raiders out. What's going on? In a few weeks, or days, or hours, the raiders will be here. Burn down our place and steal or kill us. And then it won't matter how much I sucked at this. The raiders aren't gonna burn anything or steal anybody. We'll stop it. You sound like Marlin. I mean, not about fighting, but when he was trying to cheer us all up. For years I sat around making stupid jokes, playing stupid games. While my best friend was left with all the responsibility, all the tough calls, all the sleepless nights, and eventually, a bullet in the head. And I didn't do a damn thing about it. And then when you tried to tell us what he was really like, and AJ shot him, I blamed you. Both of you. If I could take it back, I would. I knew that the day you got back. AJ killed him. I didn't stop it. He was my best friend, almost like my brother, but the things he did, they were fucked up. I'll never be glad he died. But I understand why AJ thought it was the right thing to do. Here, you take it. Are you sure? I mean, it's Marlin's. Yeah, it was. And he used it to defend the school before... before he stopped. Go ahead. Try it. In that direction, please. And just so you know, I'm totally laughing out loud when you miss.
damn. Remind me to never piss you off while I'm standing at a moderate distance with a big red circle painted on my chest. You want to come back and practice more? Just let me know. Okay? Sounds good. And Clem, thank you. For all of it. Hey, what are you doing? Hmm, test. Gotta see if the bomb will go off. This little thing won't kill anybody. Just gotta see if it'll light. Yeah, it better. Our whole plan rests on that little thing. If they get in, I'll need you to set the bomb off while I distract them. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, something like that. I, I read that on one of those stupid inspirational posters. <laughs> School used to have them everywhere. As soon as things went to shit, I tore them all down. Could you? Uh, my hands all fucked up from messing with it all day. Stand back. Fucking shit. If it doesn't work. I'm sure you'll get it. Keep trying. It's not like I got all the time in the world to play scientist and figure this shit out. I'll figure it out. I just need more time. Alone time to think. I get it. I'll leave you alone. Thanks, though, for helping. Nothing left we can use. Wonder if they ever tried to rebuild it after it burned down. I hope it's beautiful where you are, Brody. What are you doing down there, Rosie? Come here, girl. Good girl. What did Marlon used to do? <laughs> Ms. Martin, thanks for protecting everyone. Do you think Sophie and Minnie might be with them when they get here? I don't know. Maybe. 
I'm doing watch, Clem, for danger. Like patrol? No, Clem. Lookout's totally different than patrol. How so? You don't walk. Oh, right. Well, no one's coming over those. Back hallway's secure. How is everyone? Okay, or, you know, a total fucking mess. Well, honestly, it's not perfect, but they're trying. They're doing everything they can. Trying isn't gonna stop them from getting kidnapped. Trying isn't going to stop these raiders from burning down our fucking home. Jesus, Clem, they stopped giving out participation trophies when walkers started eating people. Because you're boring and your idea is stupid. Oh, I'm being stupid? You're the one who can't think straight. If you could hear yourself... Guys, what the fuck? Violet told us to work on the traps together, but a sim won't listen to anything I say. That doesn't mean you have to scream at each other. Stay out of this. I have an idea for duffel bags filled with bricks. We drop them on the raiders if they get to the admin building. Willie here wants to use a giant idiotic swinging log to take out one raider at most. It's completely stupid. You're stupid. You're being childish. I am not. I'm trying to help. A sim is right. We should use his brick trap. It sounds more practical. Mine's practical too. No, it isn't. It's exactly the kind of thing a child would think of. Especially a child who has no idea what he's up against. What the shit? Dude, you okay? Yeah, fine. Shit. Christ. We'll all kill each other before the raiders even get a fucking chance. All right, what we need is something to break the tension. Hey, buddy, how's it hanging? Dude, fuck off. Sulking in the corner isn't gonna help us fight off the raiders. Or turn that frown upside down. You get more annoying every day. Regardless, I've come up with a plan to make everybody feel better. And that plan is a game. Come on, we gotta play. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, we haven't played a game in weeks since that night with Marlin. I mean, if you wanna go ask Ruby to come play, I don't mind waiting. Shut up, dude! I swear to God. You've got a crush on Ruby? What do we plan? Truth or dare. You don't use cards in Truth or Dare. You do in this version. Everyone draws. Highest card gets to ask, Lois card has to answer. <laughs> this should be good. Let's see. Truth. Mary, fuck, kill. Bye. Fine. Mary, flip, kill. Ruby, a sim, or James, that guy who saved you. Oh my god. You gotta answer. Them's the rules. Let's see. I would marry... Ruby. Watch out, Asim. She's totally gonna swoop in and ruin your dream. You gotta admit, Clem's a way better catch than you. I would, um... Flip. Flip, 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 flip. Flip, flip, flip. flip. James. That's an interesting choice. Funny. You pronounce horrifying differently than I do. Didn't you say he wore skin? Like, human skin? I wonder if he'd take it off to, uh... You know what? Never mind. So that means you're killing... This is amazing. A sim! Oh, thank God. What? <laughs> You'd rather die than marry or flip Clem. I, uh, no! I didn't mean it like that. This is great. We're laughing, we're bonding. It's a nice break from thinking about homicidal assholes sneaking into our homes to kidnap us. Not if you bring it up. On to round two. I win. And poor Sim loses. Definitely a dare. 
Uh, okay. Do your worst. You have to ask Ruby for a kiss. Seriously? The most legitimate of dares. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> well, I think we all learned something about our good friend Asim today. Mainly that he has no romantic charm whatsoever. Shut up. Look sharp, y'all. It's time for round three. I got it. We've been pretty hard on poor Sim here, teasing him about sweet Ruby. Seems only fair we mercilessly tease someone else about unrequited love. So, Clem. Anyone here you like-like? Seriously? Like-like? What are you, six? <sighs> yeah, I've definitely got feelings for someone. Oh, oh who is it? <laughs> nope, not telling. Sam, you've got the high card, and the loser is Tennessee. What's something you've never told anyone because you were afraid they'd make fun of you? You got this. I, um, I, I think, I think walkers won't always be around. They'll go away someday, because the world goes in cycles, right? Ice Age, Stone Age, um, some other ages. So it's like that. This age will end, and another one will start. An age without walkers, like it used to be. It'll be better. Why is everyone looking at me like that? That's really beautiful. I never thought of it that way. What's wrong, AJ? Uh, I just don't know what it's like. All of you do, but I don't. I don't remember a time before monsters. You know what, little dude? It's okay that you don't. Believe me, the world before this one was pretty shitty. And that feels like a good place to call it. We should finish up our work anyway. It's getting dark. You're on lookout? Yep. Clementine's got it after me. Can I come? Well, of course you can, little guy. Hey. Hey. You maybe want to help me with the brick trap? Yeah, I got some ideas. Cool. I'm sure they'll help. Sorry I punched you. It's okay. It's a pretty good punch. I'm headed to the bell tower. I want to check out our defenses on the back wall before bed. Do you need help? Sure, if you want. You could always help me instead. I am on piano duty. What? I gotta get in some practice before one of you decides to chop it into firewood. I've got a project I wanna try, but I need a second person. 